Hey everyone, how's it going? This video will be about how to fire the AGM-114 Hellfire missiles in the OH-58D Kiowa Warrior. Now there are probably other slight variants on how to do this, but this is my method which has worked well enough for me so far. So we'll just get right into it. So before we start though, we do have some controls that we need to go over for both the pilot and co-pilot. For the pilot, we will need weapon select switch right and or left, depending on which pylons you have the Hellfires on. In this case, we're just going to need weapon select switch right. We're also going to need fire weapon second detent. Now for the co-pilot, we will need MMS manual slash slave mode. We will need MMS sensor select TV slash TIS slash hog menu back for switching the FLIR between FLIR and TV mode, or the MMS I should say. We will need the MMS field of view switches, narrow toggle and wide toggle. We will need MMS point track on and also area track, but we're just going to be using point track today. We will need MMS line of sight slew axes in axis commands. And we will also need the fire laser button. So the first thing for us to do here is we want to have our AI pilot be flying this because it'll make it a lot easier for, for us to do, um, for to employ the Hellfires. So to enable the AI pilot, we first need to press left alt and O. Roger that. And then left alt H to get him into a hover. All right, let's see if I can pick up a stable hover. Next, we want to press weapon select switch right or left, depending on which pylons we have it on. So like I said, in this case, it'll be the right. So weapon select switch right. Then we want to press the line address key next to here where it says launch and select either manual, normal, ripple, or well, manual, normal, or ripple. In this case, we're going to do manual. Then we want to press 2 on your keyboard by default to switch to the co-pilot seat. And we want to make sure that the MMS is set to forward right here with this dial. Next, we want to open on our MPD the MMS page. We want to turn our laser on, and we want to turn our master arm on. Next we want to press MMS manual slash slave mode and take control of the MMS. And you can also press the MMS sensor select TV slash TIS button to switch to the IR mode. And you can adjust the polarity with the line address key here, either white hot or black hot. We'll leave it in white hot though. Now we're going to use our MMS line of slight slew buttons to look for the target, which I believe is right over here. And we can use the field of view buttons to zoom in on those. So find this one first. Then we want to press our point track button to lock this one up. And we also want to make sure we press this line address key right next to where it says RNG and switch the laser code. There's a few different default ones, you can also adjust these, I'm not going to go through how to do that in this video, but by default they are set to the A code, the missiles are set to 1688, which is the default laser code for pretty much everything in DCS, so we'll make sure we're on that. And then we're going to press and hold the laser fire button, you can see that, we're going to get this range in meters blinking there. And then when you're ready and you're in range, which is about seven and a half kilometers, we're going to press and hold the weapon fire, or the weapon fire triggers second detent. There we go, there goes our missile. We'll wait a second for that to come in and land. Splash. All right, so you can press the point track to unlock that. Find our next target, same thing. Point track on that. Fire the laser. Trigger. And rifle. And just watch that one come in and land here. And make sure you keep firing that laser the whole time. And there we go, that's another shack. So, that pretty much covers it. It's pretty basic, that usage I showed you, but it is certainly effective. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, etc., you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, anyways, though, have a good one, and I hope I will see you in the next video.